Scotland is becoming wilder. Nature is slowly regenerating and wildlife is returning to the landscape. Which is why this summer we decided to work with our partners at the European Nature Trust and the Alladale Wilderness Reserve to set up a network of hidden cameras and try to capture the secret lives of the wildlife that inhabits the Scottish Highlands. The results were a wonder to behold. However, this project does a lot more than providing us with exciting videos to watch. It enables us to carry out an inventory of the species on the reserve, as well as their relative abundance and distribution across the landscape and its various habitats. Camera traps are really useful for conservation because they're a great monitoring tool. They um, don't rely on disturbing or handling wildlife. You can leave them out in the field for long periods of time, so they require relatively little effort compared to some other survey techniques. Over the summer, our cameras racked up 2,538 days of filming, which is calculated by adding up the total number of days each camera was active. In total, we captured 10,524 videos, which, as you can imagine, had a lot of shaking grass shots, which we had to sift through. For me, it's, it's super exciting to pick up camera traps and check the data, check what wildlife sightings you've got. Often there can be some really nice surprises. In this survey, we picked up um, some footage of mating otters, which was one of the highlights of the content that we gathered. For the task of processing all this imagery, we partnered with Charlotte from the University of the West of England. She categorized all the recordings and will use this data for her master thesis. Of our 10,524 videos, 3,895 of them captured some wildlife and we recorded a total of 56 species. These included pine marten, otter, red squirrel, water vole, golden eagle, and mountain hare, among many others. The recorded species abundance also varied between habitats, which is really interesting. Grasslands recorded 33 species, broadleaf forests recorded 32, pine woods 28, and heathlands only 14. This higher species density in woodland and grassland habitats, as compared to heathland, clearly shows the biodiversity value of restoring these habitats, and is encouraging for our restoration work. For now, that's enough about our project. You came here for the secret lives of Scottish wildlife, so I'll leave you to enjoy the full-length recordings of some of our most interesting captures. If you're still around, it must mean you really love wildlife. So I would like to pitch you our Mossy Earth membership. For just 10 pounds a month, you can support our rewilding projects and help us restore wilderness areas both in the ocean and on land, as well as supporting underfunded species. 
simply head over to mossy.earth by using the link in the description. Until next time. Cheers!